The University of Maryland is one of the top public universities in the United States. It's also home to one of the most intense and competitive social experiments, Survivor Maryland. Every semester, a group of students test their mental, physical, and strategic capabilities. Like, I came into this thing to win, so if I, if I lose this challenge because of you, know that you have the vote for me to get out. If you want to win this game, you're going to have to outwit, outplay, and outlast. The moment I feel comfortable within my team is the moment I know I'm gone, so I'm always on my feet and making sure that I'm doing something to stay in the game. Win challenges, make alliances, and do whatever it takes. Like you have to just expect everything to happen. So I just know that I have to do what's best for me right now. This season, 12 new students face off to be Maryland's eighth sole survivor, but they're not doing it alone. Eight players from Survivor Maryland's history will return and attempt to right their wrongs and win the game. This is Survivor Maryland, Winner take all. Hey. I'm Miranda. Hi, nice to meet you, nice JS. Meet you. Miranda? Eric. Yes. Eric? Yeah. Hi, I guess you're filming me. <laughs> Hi, my name is JS. If you forget that S, I will yell and scream at you. And I am a senior at Maryland. And finally, I'm getting to play Survivor Maryland. Very, very important is my name. So my first name is J, and my middle name is S. No, no alliance, no alliance. JS, off the bat, was just really energetic and really, really excited, and I was really happy to meet them. Look at the freaking wet dog, look. They are wet dogs. My name's Eric Miser, I'm a junior undergraduate student here in electrical engineering. Uh, I'm part of the Ph Phi Chi professional fraternity, really big into um, Survivor UMD, but I, I was came with energy and my um, and my Penguin Merrill dress shoes on, which is not a good idea. I love that show. Oh my god, I just want to eat like a cockroach or something. What? <laughs> That's my dad asked me. He's like, what are you Nope, I leave that shit. No power. No. No. Maybe we should act intimidated. Hi, I'm Jacqueline Dupre. I'm a freshman here at the University of Maryland in the Jumpstone Honors College. The way I was planning on playing this game is kind of staying in the middle for everything. But I feel like if you're on the extreme, that's what's going to get you voted out. You're either playing too hard, you're not playing hard enough, you're a super huge threat, or you don't can bring enough to the table. Uh, Wait, don't don't like make enemies right now because <laughs> we, like, we might not be a group. So my name is Andrew Dickin. I'm a senior computer science major. I knew about Survivor freshman and sophomore year as I would walk by La Plata and see them outside with their torches and wonder what was going on. And I was like, okay, I'll give it a shot, I'll apply. So Tony and I are roommates. Um, you know, we're very excited to play this game together, hopefully. I trust Tony, so we'll see if uh, we'll be able to work together. Mike, Dylan, nice to meet you. What's up, guys? If anyone has a hidden immunity idol and you would like to play it, now would be the time to do so. Oh my god, guys. Big surprise! Day. 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 Hello, Survivor fans. My name is Dylan. You can probably remember me from season six. I felt like I didn't make the, the moves that I should have. I kind of regret that. This is kind of my second chance. What's up? Hi, nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm returning for Eminem Sherry. Have you guys moved? Uh, no, I, I played season six. Oh. Yeah, Dylan. I'm an international student. I actually come from China. I think I will never give up. Even if I might be on the chopping block, I will still like try to switch this to another person. <laughs> Create some dramas. Seven. Oh my. Sherry walks in. Wow. She had the strategy. She really cared about the game, but it didn't really work in her favor. But I really wasn't expecting her to be back. I'll let you come back. <laughs> Here it is. No way. Idol number two. So I was really excited about this because there's only two idols in the game right now and I found both of them, which shows the I have a lot of power right now and hopefully no one understands it. Well, I'm Doug. I am competed on season seven, Major Conflict. I was second place, and I found three idols that season, did really well, con like controlled the vote throughout. I was seen as a villain, which shouldn't have happened, so 
Here we are, we'll see if this season even changes, which I think we all know it probably won't. Yeah, you have a lot to play. Are you playing? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. I have like, yeah. You are? Yeah. No. Okay, I guess that's the last. <laughs> Katie opens it! Woo! Katie! It's no! immunity! Fuck yeah! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, for once! Hi, my name's Katie Odd. I won season four. So I'm back because I want to prove everyone else who thought I was a floater and didn't deserve the win wrong. It's, I don't even know, actually. I saw Katie. I was really surprised. I didn't even think she was allowed to play again. I mean, Survivor Legend rolling up. How's it going, buddy? What's up? Indeed. How's, how's the memes been going? I do my best. <laughs> if you put yourself in the position where you vote against your best judgment, then you're putting yourself either in a losing position or you're putting it up to chance. And if you want to put it up to chance, that's fine, but you're also on the losing side. Uh, hello, I'm Eric. I'm back this semester to win it and also to get rid of my enemies. But I saw Doug and I was like, ah shit, you gotta be fucking kidding me. This guy's back too. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Oh, I've been great, you know. I'm just kind of fucked up. I think it's like that. That's your memes. If you guys don't remember, Eric and I didn't get along that well last season. He just wasn't a good enough player, I guess. Hey, Faye. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Is that real? Um, like I said, I don't regret anything just because I am here right now and I am proud of myself. Like I won the superlative for Mel to win. I don't think I just look like a strong player. Like I think I've really played like a strong player. So my name is Faith. I'm excited to be back because I definitely think I did not end my season of Survivor in season six the way that it should have been ended. Does everyone want to play Guess the Beam? Go, I'm gonna go with like fan versus favorites. Oh, well, I'm guess. a favorite? Or am I a fan? <laughs> oh. Faith and I, she genuinely scares me. When she gets to merge and she's she's a challenge threat, she's a strategic threat, she, she just has a way of getting people to like her and do what she wants. I can, you know, get back to that final two and make game-changing decisions when they need to be made. Right now, it's like game time. So, welcome to season eight of Survivor Maryland. So, you guys are about to start the most intense experience of your college career. For the next 80 days, you will be competing in challenges, going through tribal councils, and voting each other off to become the next sole survivor. Dylan, I have a question for you. Yep. Do you notice anything uh, anything about the people standing here? Are like none of you guys actually playing and I'm the only <laughs> You won, uh, congratulations. You win. I don't know, you tell me. Yeah. I feel like we're missing some people. Oh yeah. You're doing. right, there are only 12 of you here right now. Yeah. And that's because this season, we're bringing back some of our most serious competitors from the past few oh seasons. Dear Lord, they've guaranteed failure. <laughs> I was just like, shit. It's like, here come eight other people that have already played. We're all gonna get split up. We're gonna have four other people that have already played this and they're already gonna be ready to kick all our asses. Okay, alliance of 12, huh? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> if I had my say, we would get rid of a returner first. Because I'm not taking anybody who has played before to the end. And they might all get together at one point and decide to pick off us newbies. And here they are. Yeah. <laughs> no, this I don't think they're oh, Katie Ons coming back. Oh, you can't play twice. That's not fair. You already had your chance. Okay? Some people already won. Don't come back, Katie On. Don't come back. Someone's gotta take her out. They gotta take her out fast. Oh, what do it is this? <laughs> That's Katie. There's Katie. Oh, That's not Call back. As soon as he said returners, I just like had this gut feeling that Katie was coming out, and I was both terrified and excited at the same time. From season four, Guts and Glory, Sherry, oh, Sherry. and Katie on. Oh. From season six, New Beginnings, we have Dylan. Woo! We have yeah. And from season seven, Major Conflict, we have 
Eric Yang, another Eric. We got Mike Madonna, Morgan, and John. Yeah, yeah. Each one of them possesses the skills it takes to win this game. They're all threats, and they all came back to win. But that being said, the 12 of you are also threats. Every single person here can win this game. I thoroughly believe any one of you could be the sole survivor. This season is Survivor Maryland, winner take all. Here's what makes this a very special season. At every single challenge, there will be hidden game changers. These could be big or small. They could be idol clues. They could be idols themselves. They can be challenge advantages. They could be advantages never seen before in Survivor Maryland. The catch is they can only be found during the challenges. So you've got to be vigilant and you've got to be selfish. I think the game changers are helpful because in season six, when my tribe ferocity kept losing back to back to back to back, that scared me because I thought I could go home back to back to back to back. So the fact that we have these game changers that could give us an advantage, even if we lose, that made me feel a lot better. All right, so I'm going yeah. to call your name is Andy Buff. So first name, Doug. Yes. And then the first from the Purple Tribe, Mike. Katie. Purple, Sherry. Orange, Jess. Yeah. Sam. Dylan. Which one? Oh, you're right. Oh. Dylan Phelps. Yeah, you make an eye contact. Thank you. Shane. <laughs> Eric, winning. <laughs> Meisner. Sabrina. Jack. <laughs> Dylan Fishbein. Oh, yeah. Tony. Oh, yeah. Michaela. Oh, wow. Purple. Miranda. Morgan. I'm sorry, what, what do you want to do? Do you want to go with Eric? Egg roll. All right, egg roll, Eric. <laughs> and finally, for orange, we have, that's right, Andrew. <laughs> and then for purple, Jaya. Thank you. Looks like you're not getting your phone. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Bye-bye! Normally, Sorry. you can only search during the challenge for these game changers, but because it's the first day, you can also search during these 30 minutes. I will call you back, and you do have to come up with the tribe name, so, uh... Space Squad. No. <laughs> Come this evening, yeah. Let's just come up with a name. I'm oh, going for Majesta, because Majesty is like purple. Oh. Wait, 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 I like, I like that. that. I like oh, that. that. Okay. Yeah. okay. Just looking at everyone from like a first glance, it didn't look like anyone would be a liability, and it also didn't look like anyone would be like... 
super like far ahead of everyone else. So I was just glad I wasn't put on the same team as Doug. Yeah, two Zealand. Yeah. I'll go by fish. Fish. Okay. I'll fish. I really wanted to be with the orange team just because I thought they were like more skilled and better. I mean, the other nine players I think are strong. Like Dylan, a very strong person. Doug, smart, very strong. So I just kind of wanted to be on that team. Hey, Katie, what's your guys' name? What is your guys' name? Sababa. Sababa. They split you and Andrew up for a good reason, though. Yeah, they they split them. me from all my friends. Yeah, they don't want to keep the roommates together. Yeah, we need to take Katie on out right away, okay? Because she's going to win the whole thing. She's going to take it from everyone. She's so good at stuff like this. She's like, she's probably the most likely person on this entire campus. I'm not kidding. She's just too smiling, man, too smiling. I got called onto Purple Tribe and I was like, in the moment I was like all happy or whatever just to show everyone I wasn't pissed. But inside I was definitely pissed because I thought that everyone on that team um, just like wasn't as competitive or just like wouldn't be as successful in the game. I might not like the situation I'm in, but I just need to make the best of it just because like that's survivor. Like you have to do whatever you can with whatever you have. Sometimes it's easier than like, sometimes it's just in plain sight, you know? I kind of knew what I was looking for just because I had played in season six. Um, I knew it wasn't going to be something like outrageously big or like in the middle of like nowhere. Like I knew it was going to be like an official thing. Wait, we probably shouldn't huddle up because you're in The biggest thing is I want my tribe to feel comfortable with me and being a returner, they could, especially as a returner who's outnumbered, by new people, so they could easily team up and vote me out. So I felt if I had a friendship with them, that you know I was giving them kind of tips and tricks, then that was like kind of welcoming and it was open, and they would feel comfortable. But let's like pretend like we're still looking. Also, there's a dead squirrel over there. Oh. Faith, a returning member, I noticed immediately how talented she was. Um, she seemed to know everything about how the challenges were going to work, how the advantages were going to work. And it really showed when she found that first advantage, she's going to be a huge threat in this game. Oh, so it's like a whole tribe thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Basically, it's like an advantage in a tribal challenge. Mm -hmm. So if we feel like we're at a disadvantage, okay. we can use this and then we get an advantage. Should we use it or should we say Not it? today. Yes. I don't say we can yeah. use it today. Like, this is an tribal advantage because we feel like the challenge could be at our disadvantage we can use it so that we have an advantage over the other tribe in the challenge but i think that we're allowed to know what the challenge is before we choose to use it hey, do you want to split up okay right, we'll go this way i feel like we're on like scoop view split up and look hi i'm jess i took a gap year after high school, so I'm a little older than some of the other people that are playing. I'm roommates with Micah, and I'm also a waitress at the golf course on campus, and this is my uniform. Is it trash? Is it a clue? <laughs> I don't Probably trash. What if, what if you put your... <laughs> I don't know what I got, but I don't know what I got. And I like see this little white thing, and I was like, could be trash, but I'm gonna go pick it up. Like this is clearly something, and I like accidentally ripped it open, <laughs> and the two necklaces fill out. I was just kind of like, oh shit. I thought that was trash. That was so funny. <laughs> and then I like tried to be as chill about it and like continue to look, but I was just like, I feel like an idiot. <laughs> Dylan, let's go. Yeah, what's up? I'm Katie. All right, just okay. We'll be. Draw a statement necklace. So Dylan, I know, Dylan and I went to high school together and we had a class together during his original season. Try to keep his distance, but he can't stay away. Um, I won't let him. <laughs> I think like him and Katie are like really, are really great like players and will help us win challenges for now. Congratulations, <laughs> you have just found it's like your yeah. individual immunity? Yeah, something, this you, is yeah. this you is individual will, immunity okay. for the first tribal council. Is it only the first this tribal council? you're unable to be voted out at your first tribal council. So I found this immunity necklace and it guarantees, or it keeps me safe for the first tribal that I go to. So the is second one is tribe is, is immunity for someone else. Immunity for someone on the other tribe for tribal council. And then I found a second one that I have to give to the other team, tribe, 
so that they can use it for their first um, tribal also. Okay, so it's one for me and, and then you one have... for someone on the other team. The people better buddy up pretty fast. Just kidding. <laughs> Orange Tribe, what is your tribe name? Sababa. All right, thank you, Jeff. It's a Baba. <laughs> and then purple? Majesta. No. The Majesta. The Majesta. Yeah. yeah. All right, cool. We have the first two tribes. So now we're going to get started with the very first challenge. The winner of the first immunity challenge will get a clue to the hidden immunity idol. It is hidden somewhere on this campus. The losers will be heading to the very first tribal council, and one of them, one of them, will be the very first person voted out of this game. Here's how the challenge will work. It is a relay race. Oh, Jesus Christ. You're going to select five people. They're going to have their hands wrapped and their legs wrapped, and they're going to have to slither like a snake in a relay up to the top of the fountain. The next five people will then have to construct a bolo toss. You're gonna have to build it and then toss three bolos. Then you will select one person to solve a cube puzzle. They have 3D pieces. They have to put them together to form a cube. You will then select three people to run from the sundial down to the bricks and collect three bags of dominoes. You will then select one person to take those dominoes, put them on a plank, and then the first team to get a domino to fall off the plank, starting from the starting line and ending at the edge of the plank, will win immunity. Paint me like one of your French babes. <laughs> Survivor's ready! Woo! Go! Come on, Dylan! Let's go, Dylan! Oh, hell yeah! Oh, hell yeah! Good job, Come on, Dylan! Dude, you're actually, that's actually good well. Come on, Dylan, let's go, let's go! Dylan! <laughs> Come on, egg roll! This is an ideal on, male dude. human body! You think an egg would roll faster? Come on, go, 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 Come on, Mike! Come on, Mike! You got it! Go, go, go! Come on, Mike! 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 Come on, Mike!
Not yet, not yet, not yet. Come on, the chest hug. This is not a joke. This shit's serious. Who's white? Who's white? Just leaning the cheese. Bring it over. Bring it over. Bring it over. Bring it over. Put it on this side. Put it on this side. I don't want to run a car. Just go. Just go for it. Yeah. I didn't know if you were like laying out. Sam runs across in jeans. A little too well. A little too well. There's a little too well. Everyone, throw it into the water. Oh! 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 Let's go. Yeah. Absolutely. No worries. No worries, dog. You're good. Put this out, dog. If anyone sees him off the wall, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you got that, you got that. Yeah. Good, good, good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on, girl, come on. I'm working on it. Oh, girl. Oh. It's fine, I'm great. Put the yellow one down first because you know what to make the yellow one the Anyone can help. Only Doug can be touching pieces. Yeah, so the green. Yeah, there you go. And that's a corner. That's this one. Yes. Okay, now put. Yeah. No, that can't be right. Both of them are two corners. Okay. Oh, no. Wait, wait, we got the blue. No, the red one was right. That was right. That was right. That was right. That was right. Turn the orange back. I got one person stuck. One person stuck. They're just freaking out. The base of the red in here. The, the, the base of the blue, put that one in the center square and use the purple on the edge. Try it. Yeah, like that. And then put the purple one right there and that's it. Oh, there we go. No, 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 no. This red, we put the blue. It just no, the red one goes over here. Yeah, the red one no, 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 I wouldn't hope that. I don't know what he tried. I feel like we just yeah. over there. Now put that back. Yes, that's it. Is this it? Yes. Yeah. Yes! Yes! Oh, Kick it away. Break it away. Can I destroy it? Can I destroy it? No, 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 no. Are you getting it? Break it. Destroy it. Destroy it. That's it. Yep. Destroy it. 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 Destroy
doesn't it doesn't go. You have to go. Oh, oh. Switch over. Switch over. You gotta make more space. If I ever do a squash, you can make it full. She can just squash. Thank you, Eric. What, what is there to watch for? I'm not watching, I'm here to psych her out. I just can't find any patterns. Yeah, no, I'm, yeah, no, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm like looking to. It's not like. It's like you have to get lucky in the beginning with like yeah. guessing something. You have to right. just... I'm just here to add the pressure. I'm not going to touch you. Jeff, yeah, standing by, adding pressure. Right? You know what's happening. I'm voting around first. The first moment I get. Make sure they're not too far what's apart. What's her name? It's a corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your major? Playing competitive games. It's okay. It's okay. Oh my gosh, there's the wing, the wing. Okay, okay. There's the wing. There's the wing. Wait, wait, wait. Yes! It's a lot. It's really quiet. I feel like quiet is always like gets in someone's head, you know. Sherry's very quiet. <laughs> There's Jeff, you think you'll be voted out first? Wing, on your team. Yeah, guys. <laughs> I don't. Also, I don't need that sass right away. Damn, it's really unnecessary. I'm just bouncing off of you, girl. Bring it together. That's a little too far. Yeah. Wait, don't hit yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, the first and the second. Now Dylan is off. Sure, just move the green very cautious. Right there. Perfect. Perfect. All right, I think you're ready. Um, <laughs> my only concern is right there. Stepping in the water. Majesta, this is yours. You guys will not be going to tribal council. You are safe. Unfortunately, Sababa, one of you will be the first person eliminated from Survivor Maryland winner take all. Other than that, got nothing for you. You're good. You're ready to go. So starting the season eight off with a win is incredible. Like. You know that little feeling in your stomach, kind of like butterflies? That was what I felt today. I feel it in my heart right now. Like, I'm just super excited. God. I wonder where the other one was. I know. Wait, also, so like, if we find him, like, don't tell the other tribe that we found it. Man, I was like, as, as of right now, it's week one. I'm just trying, we're just having to have a good time. I, I got to see like five like young adults squirm on the ground like snakes. I, I mean like what else are you gonna do from Sunday at the hours of like 10.45 a.m. to 2.54 p.m.? Didn't, is that the time you left? Yeah. I got this smartwatch that tracks my location everywhere so I know exactly like, um, it's so worth, it's the most superfluous accessory anyone could ever purchase. No one needs a smartwatch. Why do you need your phone on your wrist? Just pull your phone out of your pocket. Are like the our first vote on my season was unanimous, and my second vote actually was split. So it's like, it's just, and then if it's split, 
and people tie again, and you pull rocks, and the people who are going to do it out and safe, and the people who are going to do it out and safe. Has that happened in Sarah, Maryland? What? Yeah. What yeah. yeah. happened? People went to rocks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It happened in Sarah. People went to yeah. rocks. After the challenge, we win it. We win it, so I feel pretty good about、um, my current try because I know the refreshers are very, actually, very welcoming. If you use this, you'll win the challenge. That's what it sounds like. Yeah. Why? Really? If it's that good. It's <laughs> like, like, like strategize our way、yeah. through. So going into season season eight of Survivor, I definitely have an advantage because I played season six. So I definitely was a lot more observant today than I was on the first day last spring. I think my strategy is to, I'm gonna kind of like sit back and see who comes to me. The first person to message me individually was Mike. I, when I played my first season, I lost like five tribal, five challenges in a row. Yeah. So he finally won. Yeah, yeah. So that was really nice, and I think like we have a very diverse team. Yeah. With a lot of like different people that can do a lot of different、yeah. things. Yeah. So I think that was cool too. I sent Faith a message first. Just because I felt like we we're kind of in the same boat. Blowing that up, we like hit it off pretty well. I thought we need to stick together. I think so too.、Yeah. We should stick together. If we would have lost, who do you think you would have voted out? I I would have went for like Sam or Eric. Okay,、probably. good. I was gonna say Sam.、Yeah. She just was like the weakest link in my、yeah. opinion. Like, it was, like when we were doing the she was like yelling at people. Like, yeah. <laughs> I was like yo, chill. Like, I noticed it when we were in the queue, but I was like. I was kind of getting frustrated. She said that she was like really good at that. Yeah.、Like、she said that she like knew how to exactly. do it. Exactly. Jack actually came. Which、clutch. one? Because she kept like telling her what to do. Like, oh wait, flip the blue and the red, or ninety、yeah. degree. And I was like, the the, the base of、oh. the blue, put that one in the center square, and use the purple on the edge. Okay. Like Jack totally took control of like that、yeah. situation. This is gonna sound mean, and I don't like being a mean person, but Sam, when she was doing the puzzle, I just felt like, I feel like. Jack took over so much more responsibility, and I just—it like, was one of those things where like you were watching and you were just like, "Oh, I, I wish I could like take Jack and like substitute her with Sam." And it was so weird because like I didn't want to like reach out to too many people or like yeah, seem yeah. like cause, like especially because like we're returners, so it's like you don't want to be too. I'm、sketchy. trying to be yeah, I'm trying to be like. Kind of like low key, I guess. We we're outnumbered. Yeah,、so、no, I know. Like that pissed me off because like we only have four people. If they wanted to team up and put us out, they could. Yeah, like I don't want people to like. Think that, like, as returners, we're only talking to each other. Yeah, Mike, I connected with right away. I thought he was like a good guy. He like didn't get super duper far into his season, so he's not like a super confident player, but he's a super confident person. So I could see myself trusting him because of that. Hi, this is Eric. Nice, nice to see you guys. Yeah, nice. To see you guys. <laughs> I'm actually very hopeful that I can like work with、uh, the other returnees. I got voted out for you. Yeah, me too. I mean, I'm in the、yeah. small tribe, only six people. Yeah, I saw your we, season. Yeah, so it's kind of weird. I think just the, for the fact that we're all returning players, we all have something in common, and there's something that each of us did. So I think we'd be more willing to work with each other than with the newbies. So can definitely work with Mike. I mean, Mike is a physical asset. He can、yeah. be like he's, leader. He's big. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, she's very charming. Charming, I mean,、yeah. so she can just definitely a good asset in the team.、Yeah. Um, the returners, Mike and Faith, they are very likable, very approachable, and and they seems to be bigger target than me. So I definitely want to work with them and hide be, be, behind them. We need to find someone at least at the beginning,、yeah. so then it's not six people. Yeah, that, exactly. That's the biggest thing. And we can't let those six people unite together. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Because, oh my god, I'm so. <laughs> it's okay. It's, don't yeah, stress out. This personal alliance just triggers me so much. On our side, we have Sherry and me, and I think both of us are very quiet people. I think Faith and Mike, those two, they're very、uh, charismatic people. So out of like all the returnees that and the way it split out, I think. Our side had a more、uh, broad diversity of people who returned, and I think that will work to my advantage. But have you thought about like who you want to work with as an alliance? Because I have like two things. Dude, I, I, I think I'm just gonna say it. I think I'm the, right now. I'm leaning towards like. It's pretty obvious.、Yeah. I, I like you, dude. Yeah, I like you. <laughs> I have a feeling that me and Mike are kind of like in, like just because I think we're both boys. Wink. Oh, dude, it was nice. Captain is 
Yeah, yeah, no, I'm glad. Yeah, I'm glad there's someone that beat. I'm glad there's someone I can trust. Yeah. Because I think just uh, being a returnee is also kind of scary. These people will they'll they'll put you on a pedestal, which means that you're also going to be the top prize to shoot down. Because I am such a huge fan of Survivor, I made a list of goals, so at least I'd come in here and accomplish something. So the goal number one, don't be the first person voted out. The goal number two was survive a tribal council. Three was make it to the merge. Four was win an immunity, like either individual or like an idol maybe. Um, and then five is like really lofty, probably won't happen, but win the game. <laughs> Something I'd love for it to happen. I just want to say that, like, flat out, like, I think we won because you took uh, up that role. I don't know, you did a killer job making it for the time for the slurring. Oh, thank you. Oh my gosh, mm -hmm. like, I already tried my That bet. was <laughs> so impressive, like, we were so far behind. I am pursuing every offer I get. And I trust my instincts a lot. Mm -hmm. I just, I'm genuinely just, you're the first one that I trust. Oh. And just bear with me sometimes, you know, English is not my first language. No, of so. course, of course. No, like, your English is so good. Much better than my Chinese. I just want to get to know everyone, to, to, like, feel them out where they're at before I, like, really start to make any decisions as to who I want to work with. It's like a clean slate. Like, I'm like, yeah. anything that happened last time is, like, it's over. over the you past. know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm, me I'm looking at it as, like, I'm meeting them for the first time. Mm -hmm. Anyone who like just watches the show, like you yeah. pick up on like the basics of how yeah. to play. So I'm up to working with everyone and anyone right now. I'm playing it and like everyone else is new. It's like it's hard to judge like yeah. how the other people who are mm -hmm. new are thinking. Like I don't like, yeah. know what you're thinking. So, so like, for me, it's me like, like you want to talk to me? Great! Yeah, you want to <laughs> talk to me? <laughs> oh, that's... Friendship! Yay! <laughs> I'm going to put you in the Oh, thanks. I want you to do well, too. Hopefully we can both do well. But I'm worried that if people know that we know each other, they're going to think we're for us. Really so. so it's just like, okay, like, I think we should keep the fact that, like, we know each other. We're, like, gemstone buddies, like, on the down low. So people don't want us out. How do I begin to describe Sam? Sam says what's on her mind. I feel like she, um, Faith is, like, the main, like, cause she, you know how we found, our tribe found that, Advantage right away. That was all faith. Faith yeah. was a fire. Makes me. She's such an asset though, but at the same time, it's like, oh my god, you're so good at everything. It's like all the returners are just. They're so good. There's someone to look out for. Jack, I know Jack because well, I'll say this to the camera because we can be honest, but I know Jack because we're in the same gemstone program, and she's she's so resourceful and so intelligent that when I saw that she was on my team, I was like, we might have a fighting chance. Um, we mutually agreed to not let our own team, as well as the other team, know that we know each other more intimately than we'll ever reveal on camera. We're kind of going to help carry each other through pretty far into the game until we can't anymore. Ooh, but I'm excited. But yeah, I'm, real, I'm I need to down for working it. with you. Yeah, I most just, definitely. Yeah, I just, just like, don't want it to be like team. two persons so, like, that like, hey, I know each other. But when the team yeah. gets together, we're going to act like we don't know each other. I don't know what are your thoughts and opinions and stuff like that. Besides liking everyone, because I do like everyone yeah. and I like the tribe, but there's definitely people that we definitely like, need to be strategic. Yeah. JS is a funny guy. He's just a fun person to be around, always cracking jokes. I was able to make a connection with him because he's also a Maryland tour guide, and so I hope we can like establish some kind of relationship there. Like, my reason for doing this, I'm just a like, huge like fan of reality television. I love Survivor. I love Big Brother. I like Jack. Uh, Jack is also a tour guide with me. I didn't know she was because there's like four million tour guides in this campus. I swear to God, they have more tour guides than they have actual people on this campus. Um, but you gotta watch out for Jack. She's a little sneaky. But I don't want all four of our attorneys to come to Merch Fest because then they can keep them with the others. Just didn't even think about that. But I thought the returnees would be after each other. No. So the four veterans are Faith, who's like a huge ass in challenges, but like... She's fine. She's fine with me. She's good. I, I like Mike, though. I like Mike. So I, I wouldn't really want to vote him out for Mike is great. I like Oh, I, lo I love Sherry. Mm -hmm. Like, low-key mm -hmm. love Sherry. Mm -hmm. She seems like such a great person. 
Like, See, someone I'd probably trust the most. Yeah. But I feel like because he is playing a more of a kind of funny character persona, it might be harder to find out when he's telling the truth and when he's lying. So. I think you have a really good read on people. Same wavelength, for sure. Yeah, definitely. Like, um, you're someone like, where do I want I want to work with you. Yeah, I'm like hoping like my fun personality yeah. like, works well. I am going to be a fun, personable guy because that's going to take me far in the game. People are going to want to, in the beginning of the game, work with people that they like and work with people that they enjoy being around. Later in the game, I'm going to be more of an asshole and not so nice. And that's when people are going to be like, oh, I'm going to keep him around because he probably won't win or he's not going to get the jury votes. Hi, how are you feeling about like, the team and stuff? I think we have a pretty good dynamic, especially- I feel like the only thing we need to like, think about and worry about is like the returners. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I feel like, like just one of them needs to like be the first, when we do like lose, I feel yeah. like just one of them needs to like- But I don't want to get rid of Big or Cheryl because they no, they have strengths, like, right? No, of course not, we don't do that. I definitely want an alliance with JS because he came and sought me out the day after the challenge happened and and he knows, obviously, like, I have never seen a real survivor, so he's kind of giving me tips like, hey, you find the idol, don't tell anyone, not even your own team. He's kind of like helping guide me through this thing. Yeah. yeah. So, that's what you want to do? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, did you want any food before we No, I'm good. Okay, we're yeah. gonna go back up to it. We have uh, chocolate cookies, those are good. Ooh. And uh, I saw red velvet. I know <gasps> okay, that, that's my favorite. That's yeah, my yeah. Favorite. I'm, okay. I'm gonna grab which one, like one or two? Oh, just one. I'm okay. fat. I do like Sam in the terms of she'll never win and she'll never be a um, threat to me and she does like me, I kind of want to take her under my wings and just fly with her to the finals and then have an easy victory, but I don't think anyone's going to let that happen. So Mike and I actually know each other because we traveled together to yeah. Southeast Asia last semester. We're cultured. I do like Mike Madonna. He might be my favorite returnee out of everyone who's played before. He's a really trustworthy guy. Yeah, so like, I talked to Faith a, little, a bit. She's, I like her. Yeah. She's like, really nice. And it's like nice because she's like another returner. Yeah. But, like, she had like the same concerns that like I had, where it was like, you guys would be like, oh, returners. I just, for me, I just want people to go that, right now I want people to go that suck at challenges. Yeah. I was thinking like Sam, <laughs> Egg roll. Yeah. Yeah, those Egg are roll. my those are exactly like that, my like, two first. So like who do you think who do you think between the two of them though? I would go Sam first. I feel like Egg roll like kinda of screwed up more though. It, it, I feel like it'd be easier to just say like Sam than be like, oh like let's get this kid. Like you know what I mean? I don't want yeah. to like No, that's true. So I would like Egg Roll to go first because he absolutely sucked in the challenge. Um, he was like a dead log that forgot how to swim or float in the water. When I brought it up with Mike, they immediately shot it down. So that is, for me, a big, like, red warning. Big, like, dee 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 dee. I, I don't want this to be like returners versus newbies. Yeah, I don't either. Yeah, I don't like, think you have something to worry about. It was nice to, like, talk to him just because, like, we do have this, like, relationship from before. And, like, I wanted to be on the same page with, like, where that was. He kind of just, like, assured me that, like, I was more, like, me and Faith are like more like the likable returners. I think I can trust JS. I know I can trust Faith. So like those are like other ears to like listen out for things. But like it'd be so stupid to vote you guys out. That's what I'm saying. Like you are yeah. totally like you're totally. Blind. I mean I like, hope so. No, I think like we're not gonna be like yeah we're gonna vote out um, Mike. I think that I did awesome. Doing that challenge. Are we good now? Yeah. yeah. Alright, I'll see you guys in the group. Later, guys. Bye. Bye. I think I was the best competitor by far at the snaking challenge. I was faster than everyone else, I was stronger than everybody else, and uh, I increased our lead by at least double, I'm pretty sure. So Eric, one of the mini Eric's, just dipped. Like, did not say bye to half the people, just left. And to add insult to injury, he said he had homework, but this man went to the diner. Wait, I'm gonna get my water bottle. <laughs> Katie, can you no. grab my... I can't walk you. should bring your bottle. It sucks that we lost the first challenge. It really does. I feel like our tribe clicked really well. We seem to be very cohesive and mesh together extremely well. I think if anybody, any of us had been thrown in Doug's position, we would not have done well anyway. We would have done even worse than Doug, probably. I'd still probably be sitting there solving the stupid cube if I was sitting there, so... I don't think any of us really were too angry at Doug. 
What's up? Let's say, let's say um, Alex Rodriguez started playing in the minor leagues, right? Yeah. That's like Katie on playing with us, okay? <laughs> she has like a 90% chance of winning the whole thing. She's so dang like likable and agreeable. You guys like, let's just level out the playing field. You know what I'm saying? Okay, knock her off? Yeah, okay. Her off. That's all I'm saying. Anyway. Say. Me and her go away. We're good friends. I just know she's like super, super sweet and everything. You know, she's gonna, she's gonna win if we don't take her out now. Okay. <laughs> Gotta take out Katie on now. She already she has like 80% chance of winning this whole thing. Katie on is great, alright? She's fantastic. Okay? Recruiters love her, her peers love her, I love her, you know, everyone loves her, but she does not need another survivor win. <laughs> Alright, okay, yeah, so definitely I'm take not. that with like the largest grain of salt. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's the most hilarious thing that's ever happened. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, who did you? Did you work with Morgan last time or no? No. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it is a disadvantage coming right back because like, yeah, one, my game is fresh on people's minds. Last season I just like had my 17 alliances and just was just like, I want to pick you up, I want to pick you up. I'm just like making sure everyone trusts me. Like I can't, I want to make moves, but like I need to wait a little bit like or else everyone actually will just vote me out. We need you to downplay each other because like, I'm sure they've heard, I mean they've watched my season I'm sure and I'm sure they've heard about your season. Yeah. Oh my god, everyone that knows about my season wants to. Mike literally said, they let you back. <laughs> just like telling each other if people throw out our names, like, when strategizing. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'd like I'll tell you if you can say your name. I was gonna say one. It feels a little bit scary, honestly. It feels kind of scary being a winner uh, and being the only winner in the season just because I feel like people are like, oh, like, uh, why is she back here? We need to get her out. Like, I definitely feel like I have this, like, huge bullseye target on the back. Hi, God. That was hilarious. Um, so when you were walking with Katie to get your stuff, um, the kid, uh, what's his name? Eric Meisner. Eric Meisner came over to, like, we were standing in a circle, and he was like, you know, if, like, Alex Rodriguez played in the minor leagues, how unfair that is? That's like Katie playing with us. So at Tribal Council, like, get rid of her. What? <laughs> First of all, I'm, I'm objecting <laughs> to being called minor league. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like already fully trust KD basically. Because we know that if like one of us goes, then like someone else will go next. Like, it's just not in our best interest for one of us to go home. It's definitely like a thing for someone to have won and come back to play. Like, and the way I see her at least, I, I, I see her as not like a threat to the game right now, especially she's on our tribe. She's, like she's the kind of person that she's the kind of person that, that I'd want in challenges. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think I think that's what we need to look at. I mean, if you, if you make it to final tribe, you're doing something right. Generally, um, Katie, like you, like you don't you don't win by accident. So I, I know that I know that she, she's a threat, but right now I, I kind of need her. The idols are going to be in place. I think you're not going to actually, mm -hmm. but like you're not going to find yeah. it until you get like the second or third clue. Mm -hmm. Oh or shit! Or really? fourth. Or fifth. Yeah. Or an additional bonus clues and still not find it. Yeah. And, then... and then realize Doug had it the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> you found one? <laughs> yeah. 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 Last season, like, I know I, like, voted you out, and I just want to just, like, clear it, kind of, oh, just, like... you think like, you ran that? Did you no. run that? Was that decision? <laughs> I just, like, no, I just want to... Oh, it was, it was him I sent the meme to. I was really? Like, I sent you that face. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I just want to say, like, sorry, and, like, I think you understand how <laughs> I just... I was stale. Yeah. Well, I wasn't, like, I didn't take it personally. Right, how it just, like, our games just, like, didn't line up. Like, you know how, like, we just, like, had never been on the same tribe until yeah. we merged, so it was just, like... Well, yeah, losing the first challenge, it was, like, annoying to lose, but... We lost the first one last season, look where we ended up. I ended up, so I don't think it's the worst thing because it kind of forces you to talk to everyone. Coming back was really exciting, like, although I had no break, well, yeah, I'm a new person now. I'm an intramural champion, I went to Australia, nothing else changed in the three weeks. I, like, there's nothing against you, like, yeah, you, you never yeah. did anything wrong. Like, exactly, it's like, just, it just, I was the easy vote. Yeah, That's exactly. my whole thing, I'm like, I'm the easy one, but, like, not the smart one. To Morgan, we kind of just, like, hashed out or like last season, I was like, I'm sorry I voted you out, but it just didn't work out. So we were on the same page too. Like you're like kind of threatening, but like I feel like you'd be good to work with now that you don't have any other people that- Yeah, I was gonna say, I, now I have no shields. <laughs> <laughs> and then Doug. Oh, Doug. I think Doug is like a fairly mediocre player, but I, I would work with him, I guess like out of desperation, but it, like I don't think Doug's like all that, like people thought he was in season seven. It all worked out. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, I just wanted to make sure we're good. Oh yeah, I, no, yeah. we're fine. I don't, like, it's, it's yeah. a game. And like, yeah, and like, yeah. especially now that we're like in the minority, like, 
Because who knows, all the six new people could have <laughs> added each other to a group message and just get these people. That's what kind of scared me. Like, I could see one of them doing that, yeah. which is why. That's like really aggressive, though. Yeah. It is. Like, that's a big, that's a that's big a thing to big pull move. Yeah, on the like, first day. Like, hey, let's get out the returning players. Okay, so Dylan and Sabrina here. Hi. Fish, I don't know, I really liked him when we first met. I felt like he's actually someone that I could kind of easily influence in a way. I just wanted to see what he was thinking. So what's up? What are you Hi. thinking? So I wanted to ask you first, okay, I have some plot twist information. Mm -hmm. So I want to ask you first what your thoughts are. The weakest person I thought of the whole round was Morgan um, because she didn't really do anything. She didn't even know how to set up the yeah. the bolo thing. Who'd you think the so weakest at first, person at first time, I, Okay, at first I was like a little worried as me because I was like, didn't contribute that much. Mm -hmm. But I was like, okay, but this also like wasn't like the best challenges. But okay, I didn't want to say this out loud in front of everyone. Mm -hmm. Hello. Um, Duck picked up a piece of paper and put it in his pocket. I was like, Duck did? Yeah, it was like the like, immediate. Like, mm -hmm. And um, the way he was describing it was just like, he was like, yeah, like it's always just a piece of paper. Like at lunch. Yeah. You know, said that. Yeah. Um, and like the only thing is like, he made it so far in the past. And it's like, yeah, he'd be a good asset. But like at the end of the day, I don't know how much that like. That helps us. Exactly. She thinks that Doug is a huge threat and that he is a really powerful player. And she wants to get him out. She also told me that she says this because she thinks she has a target on her back. And she wants to take the pressure off of her and transfer it onto Doug. I really hope Doug didn't find something. I think he's too strong of a player to have that advantage early on. And then uh -huh. also because there are six new people and then four like returning, yeah. we do have the majority. Who, if you had to vote for someone? Doug. Doug? Just because I think he has like, he's, played dirty before yeah. and he's like yeah he's helpful and like yeah that challenge was so hard and like I couldn't have done it but mm -hmm. it's like did that help us no so in my opinion I guess I just wanted someone that was returning to be out because we do have the majority 6-4 and then if someone got out it would be 6-3 um which would help Doug also Doug makes me nervous I feel like Doug's very manipulative have you talked to anyone else yet or like has anyone reached out to you uh fish oh hi um, he, okay, he is thinking of Morgan or Doug. Interesting. Yes. Why? Um, okay. He wants, like, someone that's older out because they're good. And then I was talking to him about Doug. Um, I didn't want to say anything about this, like, in public, but I'm pretty sure I saw Doug pick up, a, like, a paper, like, a clue thing. Okay. So, that's, like, a threat to me, especially knowing how far he's gone before yeah. and, like, Doug is definitely someone who is on my radar also. Yeah, Jess, I do know her from before and I really, I like her. So, uh, I think she's going to be someone that I want to like be in alliance with. I'm definitely like kind of into voting a guy out though. I don't know how you feel about that. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of into girl power. So like I'd be down to vote a guy out to give, unite the girls in some way, but I don't know. She said that Fish threw out Morgan or Doug and so and by the end of their conversation that they were leaving Doug. Um, and I don't know, I, th I like Sabrina. I think she's like loyal. Like if it was between Morgan and Doug, who would you vote? Honestly, maybe Doug, because I feel like if we vote, like I see him as a bigger threat. So if we vote yeah. out Morgan, then he's gonna be like, and I just take it more And serious. I think Morgan still like has a lot to like give also. Yeah, no, me too. It's hard because Doug like did make it far in his season. So like, you know that like he has a certain, certain set of skills or something. He can find idols really well, apparently. After that, I was like, okay, like I'm just gonna tell Morgan like that that fish threw her name out. I met really briefly with Sabrina, and she told me she was talking to Fish, and he was throwing around your name and Doug's name. Okay. But. And Sabrina said that she was leaning towards Doug and kind of by the end of the conversation felt that like Fish was also on that. I don't know because like Doug is like a threat. Yeah. If that makes sense. Like he's a huge threat. Mm -hmm. But like I wonder like does the fact that we know he's a threat so early detract from him being a threat. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. Because like last time we didn't know. Like, right. I really just wonder what his abilities are when he doesn't have his friends to, like, carry him the whole way. If that, you know what I mean? Right. The returners. We're also the minority right now, and I don't think it's smart to start targeting each other. Doug would vote with me, whereas I don't know what these new people want to do after, like, you know, if Doug was gone. 
So I kind of want Fish out just from like that perspective since he's like the first person to really look at me and be like, bye. Like a week, as like instead of doing a girl, we should do like a weaker guy. Cause it's always a girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, fuck that. So like if it was between Doug and Fish, who would you choose? I, I just like, like you, like Fish just like kind of rubbed me the wrong way. <laughs> I just wonder. So maybe we'll just be who would be more we'll likely just be to be torn between Doug and, and Fish, and we'll leave it up to fate. And I don't care if it's like, either or maybe of them you goes. Should meet, you know what I mean? Yeah, or maybe. See, but the, I think is if the vote is split between the two of them, I don't care who goes yeah, home between the, the two. Of them. Like, and I'd rather have the two of them go than like you or like or like another girl. Yeah, exactly. I really like Jess. Um, I hope she's not lying to me because I really I would want to work with Jess, probably. I just worry with guys, they want to get rid of a weaker player, and in their like sexist little minds, that's usually gonna be a female. We'll, we'll just call it like, the girl's priority. The girl's whatever. priority, ooh, I like that. So it's not a lion, it's just like a priority to keep girls in. Hell yeah. If possible. Girls are always the first one voted out, like fuck that, like how dare you, like just just because we're girls doesn't mean we might be the weakest link. So we were kind of talking boys and boys, boys who'd want to get out. Um, so. <laughs> I'm a ham. You're welcome. And she told me that Sabrina said that Fish had thrown out mine and Doug's names. So, you know, I go run and tell Doug because I'm a tattletale. But I told Doug to pretend he didn't know, so then let Jess tell him so she thinks she's doing something big. And she said, yeah, Fish just texted me about meeting up today. But I've definitely heard he's uh, plotting around. Sabrina told me that he also it's like, why me? There's four attorneys. Go for like someone else, please. Literally, why me? I'm like a nice little innocent person that will that has never lied or backstabbed, so. For some reason, that after that first challenge, when I talked with her, Fish has just like kind of been like on my radar to maybe get yeah. out, and I can't explain why. I feel so bad about him. No, I, I think he's such a cute little freshman. He's like so excited to play. <laughs> I don't know, if you've already played, like, you're probably a strong player, and if you want to keep playing, then, like, if you want to do it again, like, you're clearly going to be more driven to win, so I was definitely nervous. Like, they have a minority right now, like, they can't really do shit with that. Mm -hmm. But there's just something that I'm not, I maybe would, just something doesn't click, or... I would be fine with that. I don't know, I feel I like already, fun. like, yeah, I feel like already, like, I could trust you way more than, like, most of the people on our tribe. I talked to Katie, and Katie was like, I'm so surprised that you want to work with me. And I was like, Katie, you seem so cool. <laughs> Katie, I, I don't know. I feel like I should feel more certain, but I was so excited to be on the same team as that tribe. I keep saying team instead of tribe. Morgan and I talked, and we were thinking, trying to go for a guy to take out in the beginning. Yeah, no, no, I agree. So if Sabrina and Fish potentially want to get out Doug, yeah. And I tell Doug that maybe he'll rally people against Fish. When I talked to Jess, she said she talked to Fish, so I was like, it kind of seems like he's already like a, starting to become this ringleader among the new people, and I was just like, I don't really like that. So then I was like, in my head, Fish. He was like the next target for me. That's true. I, I'm down for that. I feel like that would work out, actually. As soon as Katie went on that side, I knew that I was gonna be on the other I side. I was like, I was like, as soon, <laughs> as soon as you went on one side, I was like, they're definitely yeah. gonna be on the other side because I was last. Andrew, like, he's a smart kid. Like, I think he he's figuring out the game like really quickly. Like, um, he's talking to everyone on his tribe, and I think he's like starting to get the hang of things. Yo, the craziest shit today. You guys were all walking one direction, and Eric comes up to our entire tribe. Eric Meisner. Comes up in our yeah, entire I know, tribe. Right? Told you guys to vote out Katie. Yeah, he's like, yeah. he's yeah. like, vote out Katie on, and we're all just like, uh. wait, do you think people like agreed? No, like, everyone was like, who is this guy? Oh, okay. <laughs> it was hilarious. Yeah. I feel yeah. like working with Katie would be really cool. I don't know if you know she wants to work with Dylan or like one of people who's already played yeah. before, but I would love to work with Katie. Yeah, but uh, who wouldn't want to work with her? Definitely, the roommate alliance has been there since day one. It could be we a fun have next a lot more, like lean type people and they have a lot more like built muscular yeah. people. Could uh, could be totally on my own on that one. But <laughs> I, I, that that's that was kinda of my initial yeah. reaction. And Tony kind of agreed. He was like, yeah, I kinda of could see that. Do you guys talk already about a lot? We just like basically bullshit about like the about our teams or whatever. Like what nothing do you think? really like Jess, I also got a really, really good vibe from initially. She's an, like a great player. Um and we seem to jive really early. I found one of the 
game changers. Oh, really? So is it and I'll individual show you the clue. or is it? Um, that's where I get to Tony. So I have to give it to the other truck. It's definitely interesting that I have to um, give the give the other necklace that I have to someone on the other team because I really don't know people on the other team and like I don't think they had a great first impression of me. <laughs> I was a little bit of an asshole. Andrew, I think, is a really nice guy. Part of the reason why I reached out to talk to Andrew was so that we could talk about um, Tony. So I'm asking you about Tony because he's the only person that I like, kind of like, like, I talked with Faith a little when we were like sitting at the cones, but mm -hmm. like, Dylan says she's not to be trusted, and like, I believe that. She's and she's scary. a tank, and yeah. she doesn't need more immunity, she's so. Me. Like, is Tony someone that I should like reach out to trust? Sure. If Do you think alone, he's trustworthy? I think Tony's a very trustworthy person. Outside of the game, I think Tony's <laughs> a very trustworthy person. He's a good competitor, but I don't think he's out here to try to like cut everyone's neck. You know, right. I don't think he's out here trying to like sabotage anybody. I'm thinking about giving it to him and like kind of hoping to like build some kind of relationship with him. Um, okay, so I know it seems definitely like preemptive to like meet with someone on the team. I also like yeah. don't think I like made a great impression <laughs> at the challenge <laughs> myself. So I found two immunity necklaces. Oh god. Sorry I'm not smooth Anders. I found two immunity necklaces right. and I have to give one to the other team. Okay. I try. And so I would like to offer you one of these. Okay. But I and like I don't know. I just like hope this like establishes some good feelings here. Definitely. I'm yeah. not that much of an asshole. It was definitely really nice of her and like um, to give me one of the necklaces. Um, and she told me that she had to talk to Andrew and like Andrew like um, told her that I was trustworthy enough to like give it to if she had to give it to anyone on the tribe. It has to be used on your first tribal. Okay, and I can so, use it for anyone. Like it doesn't whatever have to be first travel you go to, yeah, it doesn't have to be for yourself. If you want to ask Anders about it, you can. Um, okay. It's like also like it's immediately in play. Like you have to wear it to tribal, so everyone knows that you have it okay. before the battle. Now I definitely feel like she's someone I could work with. I think she's also really smart, and she knows like she knows a lot of people who played Maryland Survivor before. Um, so I think she knows the game, and she's also here to win. Like she's a pretty serious competitor. I want to put trust in you, so I'm just going to put it out there that if you use that for yourself and JS happen to get voted out, I wouldn't be mad. Okay. Okay. But right now, it seems like a lot of people are going towards voting off Doug. Doug? Mm -hmm. Okay. Who said, who said Doug? Like, who'd you hear that from? Because I haven't talked this to everyone. Is... Me, Fish is kind of getting sold on it now, okay. and Jess. From what I've talked to, I think that's what a lot of us are leaning more towards now. Okay. Or Morgan. Morgan. There's six of us, four of them. I'm really trying to make sure that all of the new people, I guess, are going to be on the same page. Hello. Hello. Hey. hey, what's up, Morgan? So, Sabrina had told people that like fish was throwing my name out wait what and then like I'm wait sabrina said that fish said your name yeah that sabrina is 100 percent false that is 100 percent false sabrina told jess that fish had wanted returners out but then everyone else of the new people has said sabrina is going after doug and i'm actually meeting with fish later today i don't know what the truth is i'm fine with whoever the snake is here because someone is up to something because there's no way that both of these stories are true. So either Fish is lying or Sabrina's lying. And I was like, that doesn't make any sense. Why would you just throw my name? I was really thrown off by that. So now I kind of have a chip on my shoulder and I'm kind of nervous. If she's throwing my name around, a lot of people are gonna be manipulated by that. And I think that's really stupid. It was like, I want to vote Sabrina. I've like heard a few names thrown around, like Sabrina said Doug to me maybe, so I don't know. And like have you talked I, to Sabrina at all? Yeah, like, I spoke, so so the first person I talked to like Monday was Sabrina and she came up to me and she said the same thing. She was like, Let's go Doug. Um, because she she said, Did she tell you that she wants to go six new versus four oh, returning? Um, she wants a little. Yeah. Because she said that was her plan. Like she wants to get us six against those four. But this is where like it gets 
like shitty because um, Sabrina told the, went to those four and said Dylan wants to get Doug and Morgan. And uh, when I spoke with Morgan yesterday, she was like, "Yeah, so like I heard you were trying to get us out." And I was like, "Who told you that?" And she was like, "Sabrina." And I was like, Sabrina's plan is to pin the six against the four. And so she's hiding her ideas behind my name. Andrews loves the drama. <laughs> Andrews craves the drama. Now I guess Sabrina is spreading my name to the other, to the returning four, Maybe. which sucks. I think so. Because I think it's stupid to go six against four. Even though we have the majority, I just think we need those four, like, at least in the week one. So I'm saying, like, if we all agree on one person, I think that's best case scenario. Because then we're all on the same page going forward and we, we don't have grudges against anyone and stuff like that. Yeah. I don't want to, like, force myself as a very as a person or a player on the team that's going to go around and spread a lot of a lot of rumors. I spoke with um, Sabrina. Okay. Because she wants to, like, form an alliance between all the people that haven't been on the show yet. She came up to me and she said she saw Doug pick up a piece of paper and put it in his pocket. Are you sure? I don't know for sure. All she right. said she saw that. But I think she's making that point to make it clear that we should vote Doug off. But you want to have a strong team. And I think Doug is a strong player. She wants to take him out because he's a strong player. I want to keep him because he's a strong player. I am going to try to gain the trust of the other players on our team. I don't want to keep being the person that throws names and says, "Hey guys, we should all vote this. We should all vote this person. We should all vote this person." At the beginning stages, like the first couple of rounds, you want to have the strongest team possible. Yep. Like, like in general. To me, I think the weakest person in terms of challenges might be Sabrina. Like, there are definitely assumptions in my head, but sure. still, like, I think that she might be like our weakest link as a, as a competitor. I just kind of wanted to make a point and say. I, I think she's the weakest player. Don't all you guys think she's the weakest player? Um, because in the first rounds of the game, I think we should not go huge and like get dug out first round. If I were to vote for someone, it would probably be Serena. Okay. Just because she didn't bring really anything to the table. Like, so she wants to like take the pressure off of her and vote dug. Ooh, that's going to be. So right now I think we needed to go for a weaker player and like I saw her kind of as the weaker player. Um, and then especially with her wanting to go big and like wanting to, you know, take out the returners, I was kind of like, I don't know if I want to be a part of that. Like I don't know if I want to go against the returners right now. I didn't want to set that divide. Sabrina was like kind of worried that she was the weakest. In my opinion, Sabrina is who I would vote for. I think this week we should get like just the weakest person out who we think is the weakest. and. Honestly, I kind of think it's Sabrina. I had a chance to talk to Sabrina, and yeah. um, she wants to go big. She wants to, yeah. she wants to like get one of the top players out, like one of the returning players this week. The returnees are kind of sketchy in my mind because they know each other, and yes, I am worried about them being a group of four. However, Sabrina wants to form a group of six against those group of four, the non-returners versus the returners. And right now, week one, I don't think that's necessary, which is one of the reasons why like, I kind of want to get Sabrina out. I'm not tying you down to anything, but me and Eric are going to go with Sabrina. I think that's honestly like our yeah. best bet. No, right I, I completely agree. I mean, I, I think like if, if you want to go shoot, shoot down the big targets, you don't, you don't do that. You don't do that week one. Really, you have to really exactly. Because, I mean, that's, that's yourself shooting yourself yeah. in the foot. He kind of tries to pull the move of, well, uh, me and Eric, are, we're voting Sabrina, so you should vote Sabrina. And I'm like, wait. First of all, like that's that's not the reasoning you use on me. Like, don't try to manipulate me by saying like I have the votes. Like, I I can name people too. Like, I like if you want, I, I know everybody's name. I can list everybody's name and say they're voting for this person. Like, he wants to be this little strategic mastermind, and he has like all the newbies kind of following him. Like, okay, well, aren't you just a little king? Yeah, I really don't like this. Fish is trying to act like he's running the show. We should try and get Fish out because I think he is like trying to be in power. He has like the most control. It seems like everyone trusts him. I wanted to like work with Sabrina because I felt like Sabrina, from my impression at Challenge, she seemed kind of less competitive, less strategic, and more like gullible. Like she's willing to go with me. So as long as I like reached out to her, it'd be fine.
Um, so, I just want to tell you this, like, straight up, because I, like, literally, a lot of people I've been talking to, I, like, I felt like I couldn't really, like, speak up, kind of. Yeah, so, like, a lot of people that I've been, like, talking to seem like they're really down to go with, like, an easy vote, or, like, whatever, like, the consensus seems like. And yeah, people have been like bringing your name up a lot, and like I was like, I really want to talk to Sabrina because like I want to talk to you yesterday because uh -huh. like I I don't want you gone. Like I feel like I had a really good impression of you from like the first day, and I don't feel like you're. Uh -huh. like, I don't know. I just like don't get the vibe from you that like you're gonna like lie to my face or like whatever. So like I don't want you gone, obviously. I don't know. I was very skeptical to hear what the returning people would say. Um, I guess in my mind I knew whatever they would say, I'd just kind of like pretend to go along and be like, okay, like, great idea. And I just like wanted to hear your thoughts on like if you had any ideas on like who you wanted. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, I like personally didn't hear my name thrown around, but like I was definitely like, I'm skeptical of it. Like yeah. I was like prepared to like know that. Katie told me that everyone was targeting me. I'm definitely sure my name came up, but it, I, does I think part of that was wanting to get me to kind of like align with her because she was saying that she's like oh i really like you i want to keep you in um i think she just knew that the returning people were being targeted like wondering from you if you had anyone like you wanted um out or like just anyone you like didn't really get good vibes from so that like you can see if like there's another option yeah i mean it's hard because there's yeah there's no one specific person that i'm like a hundred percent set on you know what i mean mm -hmm. like there's no one that i'm like oh right now I'm like completely not bullshitting you, like I'm not like making stuff up like straight up. No, you're fine. Like the consensus from most people that I've talked to were like, yeah, like we're down with Sabrina. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, I'll still keep talking to people. Yeah. Katie's lying a lot right now. Yeah. What is she saying? She like she was like, everyone wants you out, like that's why we need to align. What were you thinking? I think the the names uh, we've been throwing around are like, duh, right? Yeah, and I talked to Eric today, and then he was like, so I was telling him how, like, suspicious Katie's being, he was like, maybe you could get her out. Eric said that? Yeah. Interesting. Um, well, I, well, has Katie really been that suspicious? I mean, Katie's just lying to save her own ass. Which makes sense. She is really... What, what has she been saying? She told me that everyone is targeting me and like trying to vote me out and that she wants me to like align with her because like, I don't know, just something weird. And so if we have like the six of us strong, like the six of us like new people, we can do whatever we want. Do you think that's a good idea? Yeah, I mean... Yeah, honestly, if we do go uh, for one of the returners, we still have the strength of the six. People. I'm really trying to make sure that all of the new people, I guess, are going to be on the same page. I really want to like talk to them. I want to make sure we can get more of a consensus because you know, hopefully we can really focus on one person that we want to take out. Hey. 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 <laughs> I already know Katie from before the game. She obviously won her season. She's got a huge target on her back, but she's somebody that I would love to work with. She's somebody that I really, really could see myself aligning with. Someone that I can trust from outside the game, and from how she played her game in Survivor, she seems like an extremely trustworthy and useful asset, and somebody that I could definitely see myself working with. Yeah, and then Andrew, I knew we were in Quest together. Um, it's like an honors program that we did before I quit, and I mean, we had bonds because like all of Quest is super close. It's like a close-knit, like second home community type of thing. But me, Fish, and Sabrina called. Oh. I can't believe Katie's lying to me. Why would she say that I was on the chopping block when, like, I'm not? It's just I was so like, crazy. And I was like, Olivia, she is. Like, Bro. when someone says that, like, people are talking about voting for you, like, you have to take that seriously. Yeah, like, like, why would I make that up? Like, are you serious? And then I was like, this bitch, I tried to give you a chance. But no, you went straight to Andrew and you said she needs to leave. Like, are you kidding me? I was the only one who had the decency to give her a chance and tell her that she, her ass was being voted out. Oh, well, I haven't heard my name being thrown around. Well, no shit, nobody's gonna tell you that your name's being thrown around, like, obviously, because they're trying to get you out because you're the easy vote. Oh, like, all the She new thinks it's all the new people against you guys. So it's, like, definitely not, like, a returner's first, like, new people thing. At least for me, at least. Uh, and that's, it's not like that for me. Yeah. So, like, she doesn't even think she's on the chopping block, so I yeah. have no idea why 
She's like throwing out everyone's name. I don't know. I feel like she's just trying to fuck shit up at this point. Yeah, so. that's crazy. Sabrina explicitly said, us six new people should get out the four returners. So then I was like, oh hell no, that's not happening. I think they just don't know how to like get together such a big group because it's like kind of like overwhelming. Like, I, I really might be giving them way too much credit though. Yeah, I don't yeah, think they're gonna important. have a majority to do anything against this right now. That would be six at least, and I don't think. Well, that's like bold. Right, They've then. given me every indication that they want to go with the easy mode too. Yeah, yeah. So I think they're like scared that like something's exactly. gonna happen to them, so they're just like down for whatever we seem receptive to. Between the returners right now, we are a 4-4, and we're trying to downplay it as much as possible. And I made sure to like keep my communication with these three really tight, but I'm definitely trying to make be like everyone's number one ally, like as many people as possible. It's like hard because I want to get close to people and make the strong bonds I made like I did in season four, but I don't want to be seen as like a huge social threat where like I have all these tight bonds and people think I'm everyone's best friend. I have Fish, I don't know how much of a challenge for he is, but he is. He's the only one that seems like they're all the same kid. Yeah. And like, That's if we don't need him for challenges and he's just going to be another obstacle every single vote, yeah. then, yeah. But, I mean... I'm, I, I'm like open to like fish. And just to be clear, like, I'm dead ass serious when I say like, I want all of us to make merch. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm not, serious. like, I'm seriously not like trying to backstab you guys. So if I say yeah. anything to them and they try to say, oh, Katie said this, that, like, I'm not. Yeah, I, I, I thought I'm, that was I'm the like, if we talked to them, yeah. I basically made it sound like, like, like their whole thing, like, oh, we need the returners to win some challenges. But I'm like, I don't want to go to merch with those people. Like, yeah. I want to, like, have a chance of winning. Uh, yeah. Like, so returning alliance. I don't want to play with all of them after the merge. Uh, Dylan, I like Dylan's phrasing. We'll take it to the merge and then renegotiate. So, I'm fine with that because I don't know. I think I would not want to work with all four of them at once. Yeah. Like, you yeah. only want to see the like, boats could... once someone this gets out. This is the easiest yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Just <laughs> <laughs> start the bunny slopes. Because, <laughs> like, last season it was nice having the comfort of, like, okay, Tim will go me out. But, like, I don't have that. But, like, after talking to Dylan, Morgan, and Katie, I did feel like we have a good bond and we'll be able to do things together, hopefully. So... I think, I think we're okay. I think we're okay too. Yeah. Like, English 393 squad. Yeah. So, welcome, Simbaba, to your first Tribal Council. Thanks. Here, at Tribal Council, these torches represent your life in this game. When they are snuffed out, so is your game. Katie. For you, it's been two years since you last played Survivor Maryland. How does it feel to be back? Um, it feels great. I mean, obviously not here at Tribal, but... I mean, it's fun to be back, honestly. I think the people here, like, playing in the season are way more into the game. Um, and I kind of like that, honestly, because it's more fun. And I think, like, I would be happy with the results, like, more overall, just because I like the people, and I think everyone's in it to win it. And then, Doug, for you, it's been about two months since you were last here. How does it feel to be back? I'm back. Like, it feels like I never left. I don't know. I've been on this bench too many times. I don't know. Fish. For you, this is the first time ever being a tribal council. How does it feel for you to be here? Obviously it sucks, but this week I feel like speaking to everyone individually, like it, I got closer with everyone. I got to know all of you guys pretty well. So I guess you could say some positive stuff about being a tribal. You know, there are 10 people, there are 10 targets. But Jess, mm -hmm. I think I do want to bring something up. Oh, um, so this, what's hanging around my neck is the immunity necklace for this for this tribal. It was the game one of the game changers that was found at this week's challenge. So Jess has a game changer, uh, immunity at her first tribal council, which means Jess cannot be voted for at this tribal council. You're guaranteed 19th place. Jess, how does it feel to know you're safe from the first vote? It was really nice. Um, there was one point when I was messing with the other tribe and um, during the challenge, and one of them said to me like. I hope you're voted out first and you guys are at Tribal. Little does he know that I'm going to be here next week, so I will see him next week. Let's go. <laughs> like, I like everyone on this team, but I think, like, this er, tribe, sorry, I keep saying team, um, but this early on, I, like, 
was like ready to use it, ready to keep going. <laughs> I'm, I'm ready to, to keep going to next week. There are four attorneys here, six newbies. Uh, Sabrina, if you guys wanted to, the newbies can just gang up and take out one of the attorneys. No problem. There's nothing stopping that. Has that really floated by as an idea? I mean, you, well, you have to think about it because yes, they are attorneys and right now we are playing as a team and so next week it's like if we want to not have to go to tribal again, we will have to win and we're going to need everyone's strengths so we definitely want to use that to our ability. It's definitely a threat and it is difficult, but I mean, you also do have to think about right now we are playing as a team so we have to think about what's best for us in the following weeks. Dylan, as a attorney and in the minority just being a attorney, are you worried that, hey, I could definitely be voted out just based on the attorney. Yeah, of course. Um, I mean, like, the second I saw, like, the, the way that the tribe was set up, I mean, I see there's four of us. Uh, the way that we were kind of announced, we were, we were walked into, like, the big group of people that are new and they said, like, okay, here are the eight threats in the game. Uh, so, yeah, obviously I'm nervous. You're, you're setting us up. You're putting four of us against six of them. Like, I, I'd be dumb not to be nervous. I think people understand that th this game isn't just about getting getting rid of threats. Like if, we, if we're early, we want to win challenges. We got to keep the strong people in. So uh, I'm nervous, kind of from a strategic front, but I, at the same time, like talking to people this week, I, I realize that uh, people are going to make the move that's best for the tribe. Fish, how do you decide who to target for this first tribal council? What are your criteria? I think like in the early weeks, you want to build the most cohesive and like strong like from the bottom up tribe, like you want to have a very strong base so that you don't have to be in this kind of situation. So I think like week one, it's smart maybe knocking off one of the weaker players, maybe like challenge wise weaker, because um, then we just don't have to find ourselves in this situation. Who would you say is a weaker player on this tribe? Obviously, we are all have our weaks and our strengths. <laughs> um, <laughs> Weaknesses in our strengths. <laughs> weak. Like challenge-wise, I think maybe uh, Sabrina and maybe um, I don't know, maybe Morgan. Just because like I didn't see like a real fire in them while I was like doing the challenge. So Sabrina, he calls you out as a weak player. Do you agree with this or do you disagree? I mean, I think it's it's very hard because when you think of this competition, there were so many different parts of it and like so many different parts took time. Like I guess the time that I was actually involved took probably like less than two or three minutes. Whereas like someone that was maybe slithering, that's, and that's a physical strength, you can see that that took like a significantly longer amount of time. So I guess like in the specific challenge, um, it really depended on maybe what part you got a chance to contribute at. Is anyone a little bit unsure of their place right now? No one is unsure. Wow, this is incredible. Okay, so everyone here, very confident they're not going home. It's a guaranteed blindside. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, normally this is the time I give for anyone to speak up, say anything they want, sway people if they're feeling unsure, but clearly that's not needed. And uh, what a great start. Someone's gonna get blindsided. So uh, with that, it is time to vote. Okay. It's good to be back in Survivor, not good to be back at this table. Winnick, take all. Someone's getting blindsided, mate. Let's hope it's not me. Sorry. Ah, I'm so pumped. Who knew I'd be so pumped for tribal, huh? And since you say that, uh, you know, tribal is past your bedtime and you're not happy with that. Sleep tight. All right. If anyone has a hidden immunity idol and you would like to play it, now would be the time to do so. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Once the votes have been read, the decision is final. The person voted out will be asked to leave the tribal council area immediately. I'll read the votes. That was good. Thanks. I practiced. <laughs> <laughs> First vote. 
Sabrina. Second vote. Doug. That is one vote Doug, one vote Sabrina, eight votes left. Third vote. Sabrina. Fourth vote. Sabrina. That is three votes Sabrina, one vote Doug, six votes left. Fifth vote. Sabrina. Six vote. Sabrina. Seventh vote. First person voted out of Survivor, winner take all. Sabrina. That is six, that is enough for tonight. Please stand up. Sabrina, the tribe has spoken. It's okay, I still love you guys. Sabrina, <laughs> just walk down. All right, congratulations guys. Your first vote and your first blind side. Hopefully, one of many. <laughs> and while this was a unanimous vote, I doubt the rest will be. Have a good night! Hey. 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 Let's go. Doug's also really good at getting idols, so we think that's a huge like threat. Um, and we kind of want to get him out before he has like too much power. The only name that I've heard kind of come up for next week is Doug, which I mean I'm not I'm not opposed to. Now I have to play it at the next tribal. To figure out what we should do with it. Oh my goodness gracious. The thing with all of us is we're smart and don't want a better <laughs> Yeah. Alright, so yeah, being the first person out sucks. Um, I'm not gonna say that I didn't expect it because I guess all along I thought you're gonna have to, everyone's gonna have to know that their name may be thrown out there. Honestly, I had a bunch of fun and I wouldn't trade this experience for everything and I'm really glad that I met the people I met, so. Bye.